The following video is a step-by-step -step guide to installing your new EBD power conversion kit. Congratulations on the purchase of your new EBD power conversion kit. Now that you have the proper EBD power conversion kit for your lift, we are now ready to begin the installation process. Following these five simple steps will ensure years of reliability and ease of use when operating your new lift. Please note, when installing the EBD power conversion kit on shore station models, it is important to follow these three steps prior to the installation. With the cradle in the down position and all of the weight removed, unbolt the large wheel and remove cable from the existing winch. Keep the cable in position to reuse on the new drum. Remove the existing winch by unbolting the tubing connecting to the main frame, and after the bolt or bolts, some models have two, are removed, lift the winch and tubing attached to the main frame off. It is important to hold on to the existing bolts removed from the frame, as they will be used to attach the new tubing. Holding on to the new tubing from the top, slide down into the frame until the holes align on the frame to the new tubing. Attach bolt through frame and new tubing, and then secure the bolts. Before starting the installation process, please consult with your dealer or the manufacturer that the kit you are receiving will be compatible with your vertical aluminum lift. These requirements include the size of the lift, and the specific brand of the lift, all in an effort to ensure the proper hardware may be provided. Warning: When mounting, if your lift has included a canopy, never mount the EBD power conversion kit to any part of the canopy legs, for they are not a load-bearing part of the lift structure and may cause severe damage to lift and or lift operator. Before beginning the five-step installation process, it is important to make sure that you are mounting your EBD power conversion kit to the proper position on the main frame of your lift. When mounting, the only part that will be used with the EBD power kit is the drive cable. All other mounting hardware is included in the EBD power kit. The EBD power kit will consist of an EBD gear, a wired motor with mounting bolts, drive pulley with matching belt, cable drum with two matching round or square version U-bolts, and two-piece mounting bracket with round or square U-bolts to attach to the frame. Step 1. Prepare the EBD gear for mounting. On the back side of the EBD gearbox, there are four mounting holes located in the center of the gear to attach to the back cover. The back cover must be bolted to gear using four bolts provided in the hardware kit prior to mounting your EBD. After back cover is securely fastened to the EBD gear, turn the gear back around and place wired motor on the EBD gear, aligning the motor pulley with the EBD drive shaft. Using the four motor bolts, four flat washers, and four locking washers provided in the hardware kit, secure the motor to the gear. It's important not to fully tighten the motor bolts. We will secure these bolts in a future step. Step 2. Mounting the cable drum to the frame of the lift. We will be using two square or round U-bolts depending on the brand of lift provided with locking nuts. With the shaft of the cable drum facing the outside of the lift, position the cable drum to the upper part of the leg frame on the side where lifting cable is provided. When positioning the cable drum, you will insert U-bolts through so that the threaded end comes to the inside of the cable winder. It is helpful to insert one U-bolt at a time and securing with providing locking nuts. After both U-bolts have been inserted around the frame of the lift and threaded side through the cable drum, secure the four locking nuts to firmly attach cable drum to the lift frame. Make sure the locking nuts are completely secure before continuing to the next step. Step 3. We are now ready to attach the EBD gear to the output shaft of the cable drum. To ensure the maximum dock clearance, we recommend mounting the EBD gear in the upside down position, or with having the motor in the up position. The mechanical design of the gear allows for mounting in any direction. With the back cover securely fastened and wired motor placed firmly on the gear, as mentioned in step 1, we are now ready to mount the EBD gear. Included in the EBD power kit is a 1.5 aluminum spacer and drive bolt with self-locking nut. Before attaching the EBD to the output shaft of the cable drum, align the aluminum spacer on the output shaft of the EBD so the drive bolt holes are aligned. We are now ready to attach the output shaft of the EBD with the output shaft of the cable drum. 
lifting the EBD up in the motor up position with aluminum spacer slid onto the EBD output shaft, slowly slide the EBD shaft into the output shaft of the cable drum. After the EBD is in position, we will need to align the drive bolt holes of both the output shaft of the cable drum and the output shaft of the EBD drive. After the drive bolt holes are aligned on both of the output shafts, we can insert our drive bolt and securely fasten the provided locking nut. Make sure when securing locking nut to drive bolt that locking nut has been threaded completely until stopping in the locked position. Step 4. We are now ready to install the lower bracket as shown to secure the EBD drive to the frame of the lift. The EBD bracket will be placed under the cable drum. We will first attach the bracket so it is facing out towards the bottom of the EBD drive to the frame of the lift using the provided U-bolt with two locking nuts. After bracket is attached to the frame, align the long piece of the bracket with the two mounting holes with the bottom of the two mounting holes of the EBD. Once these holes are aligned, secure the EBD to the bracket using the two provided 3 force bolt with the locking washers and nuts. We can now go back and securely fasten the U-bolt with two locking nuts and two 3 force bolts with locking washers and nuts on the short bracket connected to the frame and the two 3 force bolts with locking washers and nuts to the long bracket connecting the EBD drive. After completing step 4, double check all bolts and nuts to ensure that they are securely fastened. Step 5. We are now ready to reinstall the cable to the cable drum. We will do this by simply feeding the cable through the hole of the cable winder until it comes through the hole on the right side of the cable drum. When feeding the cable through the winder, use a box end wrench to pull the cable through to outside of the cable drum as shown. After the cable is fed through the cable winder and out to the side of the cable drum, place the provided cable clamp at the end of the cable and secure. After the two nuts on the cable clamp are secure, you can now pull the extra cable back into the winder until the clamp is completely inside the cable drum or until it stops. We can now install the 10 inch drive pulley to the EBD drive by inserting the pulley onto the drive shaft using the provided key of the EBD until flat end of pulley is flush with the end of the EBD drive shaft. Secure the drive pulley by using the provided Allen wrench and the hardware kit. Once we have the drive pulley installed, we can now place the drive belt. First place the belt around the motor pulley, then roll onto the drive pulley. After putting the belt in place, pull the motor back up to put tension on the belt and secure the four mounting motor bolts. Now we are ready to place the weatherproof cover on the gear. Take the front portion of the cover and put two bolts provided on each side and thread on locking nuts. The cover kit is provided to design a hinge and may be open for easy access to motor gear. That completes the five-step installation process of the EBD power conversion kit. After several cycles of use, please check mounting brackets and cable drum bolts for tightness. Following these five simple steps will ensure ease of installation and years of reliability for powering your vertical aluminum lift.